Hey Lashy Kids and Dragon Mutants, I am Lady Shasha, Mistress of the Snark, and did you know there was an American remake of Queen of Spades, The Dark Rite? I just finished reviewing Queen of Spades, The Dark Rite, and its sequel, Queen of Spades, Through the Looking Glass, when I found out that there is a remake called, just simply called Queen of Spades, and it's an American version of the Queen of Spades, The Dark Rite. So I had to sit back down, fire back up the camera, and review this. This one starts out a little bit differently than the Russian one. Instead of starting out inside the apartments, the teens are hanging out at this um, picnic table. Looks like they're maybe outside of school. When they spot another teenager on the roof and the teenager on the roof is trying to end their life. And when they jump and land to the ground, they mostly just mangle their legs. The mangled legs looked good, by the way. That was a decent effect. But before he's transported to the hospital or passes on, we don't know. The movie doesn't tell us whether he died or not. He tells this, the teens about the Queen of Spades and how she's never going to stop until she gets him. This scene serves to tell the new American characters about the Queen of Spades and get this movie jump started. The kids meet up later and Black Glasses Guy recounts the legend of the Queen of Spades to them based on what he's looked up on the internet. I'm going to keep giving these kids nicknames because I don't remember any of their names. Of course, they decide to do the ritual that would summon the Queen of Spades because otherwise we wouldn't have a horror movie. But the reasoning they give is because they think it'll make an excellent YouTube video that'll go viral. The ritual scene is pretty similar to the one in the original movie. The kids still live in an apartment complex and I'm glad that they kept that element from the original as well. Later, one of the teens ends up contacting a Russian man whose son was killed by the Queen of Spades once they figure out that this is not a joke and things get real. At that point, I thought maybe this was more of a sequel to or a tandem film to the Queen of Spades instead of just a remake. Kind of like how um, Paranormal Activity Tokyo Nights and the Mark Ones were like side stories to the regular Paranormal Activity franchise rather than direct sequels. I thought that's the direction this was going in and I kind of liked the idea of that. Or I should say I like the idea of that better than just straight American remakes. This has some failed scare scenes. The mother had a dream sequence that had the potential to be quite chilling. The imagery of the spectral hands coming through the mirror looked really good. But the scene was paced too slow and that made it lose a lot of its impact. Then the whole thing was ruined by this loud orchestral bang. Some of the scare scenes in this are repeats from the original Queen of Spades Dark Rite. So now I'm not sure whether this is meant to be a remake or a tandem story. If it is meant to be a remake, I wonder why they got rid of the father character. I really liked him. And I like the subplot of these two parents that are separated, but they put aside their differences and come together for the benefit of their child. Anyway, the Russian bird guy that one of the kids was messaging turns out to be the same character as Canary Guy from the original Queen of Spades Dark Rite. He basically tells them that they have to Freddy Krueger her, as in like draw her out of the mirror into their world and then they'll be able to destroy her. But also they have to take back the power they gave to her, which is how you defeat Freddy Krueger, at least in the first Nightmare on Elm Street. There is a possession scene that's much like the one in the original Queen of Spades Dark Rite, but they decide, which they kind of did in the original as well, that in order to defeat possession you have to do like a flatliners technique that's the cure for possession now what they did in flatliners there's a scene at the end of this with a cat that is so corny i see how that could have worked but just something about the execution made it not work if you've seen the movie you, you'll know what i'm talking about this is kind of bad don't pay to see this one this is uh rentable on amazon but don't don't wait for it to come to netflix or better yet wait for it to come to tubi if you're really interested in watching this because it's really not even worth watching because the the kids are not memorable the scares are non-existent nothing was scary like how do i describe it's like you're going through the motions to do scare scenes but there's something that's just not working I don't know how to describe it other than it's just not good. I'm sorry to say that, but yeah, I would not spend money to see this. And I, <laughs> I can't recommend anyone else spend money to see this. But like I always say, don't take my word for it. If you really feel like you need to watch this for yourself, but wait for it to go on Tubi or another free streaming app. 
because like I always say just because I love something doesn't mean you won't hate it just because I hate something doesn't mean you won't love it. Have you seen Queen of Spades, Dark Rye, Queen of Spades through the looking glass or the remake of Queen of Spades and what did you think of them? Let me know in the comments. Until next time. Hey did you know that I work for tips now? You could hit me up on Venmo or Cash App. Well I'm happy to receive the type of coin that jingles. I love to receive the type that folds. Somebody show these people where the subscribe button is. They don't know what they're doing.